All right, uh, day two on, or day three on this. Our interesting. And uh, I have a pose or a, a uh, movement for the uh, Longhorn. I've spent all afternoon this afternoon just uh, looking for that, which is cut into my sculpting time. But I'll, I'll put this up on my video here. But uh, it's a, a video that I got, got off of YouTube, a uh, dog uh, uh, herding some uh, steers or some longhorns. They are young longhorns. They aren't, uh, over, you know, grown, so uh, quite a bit different. But I was looking for movement, uh, for leg positioning, for body stance and uh, I think that one works out good I may have yeah that that think, I think that'll work out good I just have to yeah so anyway I'm going to get busy here trying to mount it on this board here and uh, I'll ha I have another board for the uh, the horse and I'll mount that too all right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, the first thing I need to do is get a drill bit that is the uh, same diameter as the uh, wire I'm going to be using. I just got this new in impact driller. I drill. <laughs> I driller. <laughs> and uh, I'm liking it a lot. Real easy to change out the uh, different heads here. Now the only hoof that's going to be off the ground is going to be the front uh, left hoof. And uh, so I'm going to have three points of contact on the base, which is a good thing when you need support for the, uh, the bronze. Bronze is rather soft and for that reason uh, you've got to consider uh, exactly how you're going to mount your, or how many, how you're going to support the bronze once it's cast. And the best way to do that is have the uh, sorry, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. I'm not very good at either. see yeah this one I don't need the extension for the bottom of the hook because it's not going to be touching the ground so I'll go ahead and clip that off and uh, bend it at the hock Now I'm going to take the rear hoof, find where I'm going to put it. Put it right there.
want to keep that hook down inside there. So I'm going to just make a little wooden wedge that, uh, there we go. I'll stick down in the, uh, next to the uh, hole of the, uh, all right, I made a little sliver of wood that I'll jam down next to the uh, armature and the hole. And this will just uh, give me a wedge here to hopefully keep that foot in the hole. There we go. All right, I've just got to put the, I just put the uh, final wedge in the foot, in front of the foot here. And I got the stance pretty much the way the uh, figure of the steer is in the uh, photograph. Now I'm going to probably have the horse in this position and I'm going to have them kind of twisting away from the uh, steer. Let me see if I can get this worked around where you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, he's going to be, well it's going to be hard to see because it is a wire front frame right now, but I'm thinking about having the horse uh, rearing up and being, uh, his head is going to be coming over and the horse's body is actually going to be twisting a little bit. So anyway, that's the idea. I need to trim off some of this board and I've got my hand saw someplace around here. I'll look for it and I'll be right back. All right, I gotta anchor this uh, board to my sculpting stand. And I gotta move everything that's uh, sitting on here because uh, it'll be on the floor if I start cutting this wood with this uh, reciprocating saw. And uh, I don't want that. No, I happen. want to trim off a little bit of this uh, front corner. There we go. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, make separate uh, mounts for each of the two uh, figures so that I can work on them separately. It's, it makes it a lot easier than trying to work on the, this side of the horse with the head of the, the uh, longhorn in the way. Um, I also got to figure out how those horns are going to uh, interact with the horse as well. So what I'm going to do, I've got to mount at least one leg. And I think I might do that leg. This really does take a lot of time because I've got to work this whole scenario out before I actually start sculpting. And uh, it takes a little thought. Okay, I'm going to 
than that. I'm trying not to wreck my horse while I'm doing this. Oops, wrong leg. Okay. That's gonna work. Just kind of trim it off. I need enough purchase on the uh, existing armor. I mean, uh, armature, not armor. And. Uh, That's why I cut the wire real long. But I don't know if I want to put that on there yet because that'll be a lot of weight there. And I don't know how I'm going to have this horse mounted yet. I'll get that out of there. What I want to do is put this screw, which is going to be solid, next to this center support. And uh, anchor that to that. I'm going to try a different approach. I've got this quarter inch copper tubing. And it's very strong. And I think I'm going to use this instead of the uh, screw. I just got to figure out where I'm going to place it. And let's see. I place it right there and then I can bend it down to meet the armature. So. I need to trim it. Yes, I do. Got my heavy duty metal cutter, a wire cutter. You got to have something with leverage, and this uh, wire cutter does. Now, need to bend that. I need a works perfectly okay uh, let's see where's my tape now I'll use electrician's tape to wrap around that I think you can see how that head of the uh, steer is going to run into the uh, armature there and I got to rework that but this just shows you how it's coming out. 
I think it's going to look interesting. Um, I don't know. All right, till next time. Um, have a good night, everybody. Got to figure this out. It may be next week before I get back on this because this is going to take some real planning. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.